Okay, so in my last video, what I did was I wrote this Arduino sketch. And what this Arduino sketch does is have the Arduino wait until it receives some type of serial command. And then it will send the serial command back over, over serial. Uh, so if it receives an I, it's going to, at the beginning, just say starting. So the I says starting. And then if it receives an A, it's going to send whatever coming into its analog input zero. And if it receives another I, uh, it stops. So then I can't transmit anymore. OK. Now I want to take what I'm doing in the serial monitor right here, and I want to put it to the Python GUI. So if I do that, uh, first thing I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to import the module serial, import time. So this is at the top of uh, at the top where I import all these packages, and then let's just start building this. So on start click, what I'm going to have is I'm going to have um, let's call it self dot serial Arduino, and this is going to be equal to a serial dot serial uh, com port. So com three baud rate ninety six hundred, and let's put a timeout of two seconds. Now we want to write time.sleep, and we want to sleep for two, three seconds. This is going to be dependent on your system in Arduino. If you don't have this, then the, uh, the serial communication might go too fast to your, next, uh, to your next line, and it might not be initialized correctly. So let's get it initialized first, and then I'll show you what happens if you might not have this time.sleep. So then we're going to have uh, self dot serial Arduino dot write, and we're going to write I in a new line. So this is what the Arduino is waiting for. And then we're going to get a response back, and my response is going to be equal to self dot serial Arduino dot read line. And read line right here is a blocking command. So this is why it's good to have this timeout. So in case you don't, for whatever reason, get a new line, your program will halt. And then let's print what our response is. OK, so if I run this, when I click Start, I get a serial exception cannot open port. So I am on COM3. It, it's open here, so you can't have two serial ports on the same uh, thing open. So let's rerun. Now when I hit start, it waits three seconds, and I get back starting. OK, so the Arduino has been connected. Now I want to go over sort of what happens if you don't have some of these options, what it might look like for you. First off, let's, let's take away this time. If we take away this time, but we still have a time out of two seconds, when we run this, we'll stop and rerun. Actually, let's put another print statement here. Uh, we'll just say uh, after response. So we know we, we've got past this, because our response might be nothing. Oops. So on start, we're going to wait. And now, notice I had a timeout of two seconds, so I didn't print a response. I got nothing back, but I printed this next line after response. Let's bump this up to five. It'll just it will wait for longer. So if we do this now, we're going to wait longer before this timeout kicks in, and then it tells us after response. Okay. So this is what happens if I comment out this sleep. Now, finally, let's get rid of this timeout right here and run this. So I don't have a timeout. I have no safety net. I'm probably going to get blocked on this line right here. And if I get blocked on this line, it's going to freeze my program. So when I hit Start, uh, nothing should happen. And yeah, right there, my program goes into this not responding state, and I'm going to have to force close it. So that's why the timeout is important. Uh, 
Uh, we'll keep it at two. So now let's try to figure out what a good sleep time is. If I do one second, uh, this probably won't work. Uh, it's just not enough time. I'm using an Arduino Uno, and I've noticed it takes about two to three seconds in the sleep to initialize everything. Uh, three seconds almost always works. Two seconds sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. But at two seconds, I do get starting. So this is the response that gets back, and I get the after response. So we'll keep it at two seconds for now. No reason not to. And I want to just do a few more things. First, I don't want to, if I'm running this, what I don't want to do is continually try to make a serial connection every time I click this button. So. I only want to make the button uh, connection the first time I click the button. So I need to keep track of the state of if Arduino is connected or not. So let's just, in my bottom panel init function, uh, let's just keep uh, serial connection, self.serial connection is equal to false. So this starts out as false. Now let's go to here. So if self dot serial connection is equal to false then I want to perform uh, these steps I also want to put this in a try command uh, so a try accept statement and this is what I'm going to accept right here the serial dot serial utility serial exception And right here, I'm just going to print uh, problem connecting to Arduino. So right here, uh, uh, I want to compare this output right here. So if uh, res is equal to what? Starting. starting. So if it's equal to starting, then I want to change this self dot, uh, the serial connection. So self dot serial connection is equal to true. So we've made the connection and we won't have all these problems anymore. And let's also just print uh, Arduino is ready. All right, let's see if this works. Stop and rerun, start. So we get starting problem connecting to Arduino. So we're not, we're not getting to this stage right here. It's probably the response, let's throw this on it. We get Arduino, we get starting, Arduino is ready. Uh, we're sending a print line statement. So it has this, this end of character stuff on it. Uh, now if we hit start, we're not gonna throw all those exceptions when we try to reconnect to the, uh, reconnect to the Arduino with this start and stop command. Now I guess something you might be able to do is close the serial port when stop is hit then start it up again when start is hit. Uh, I just don't wanna do that. I don't wanna wait this two seconds every time I wanna hit start and stop, um, but maybe that's something you wanna try.